Okay. Hi, this is Gopina. Uh, today I am here to explain a project on diesel of water tank. This is Navin Kumar. And these are the other batch mates. Aditya Varma, Mehmood, K. Navin Kumar, K. J. N. Sai Nitish and K. Srikan. These are the contents we are, we are going to cover. Uh, classification of RCC tanks based on position. Tanks resting on ground, elevated tanks and underground tanks. Coming to introduction, our structure deals with the staging part and the reservoir part. Uh, staging part will design with start row and reservoir part manually. Classification based on classification based on shape. There are six types: circular, rectangular, inch, spherical, conical bottom flask, and pre-stress tanks. Here you can view of inch tank. This is a circular tank we are dealing with. These are the columns. These are the brace beams. This is the walkway, this is the railing part, this is the ring beam and this is the container part. This is a rectangular tank used for small capacities. These are the various tanks you can see around the world, various shapes. Materials used concrete, steel, minimum reinforcement, waterproofing materials. Concrete. We will use different types of con uh, two types of concrete, M30 and M20. M20 for the staging part, M30 for the reserving part as, as it is a retaining structure, water retaining structure. High quality, strength should be leak proof and should not crack. Coming to steel, we will use tor steel that is FE450 having yield strength and uh, varying diameter from 8mm to 20mm at different sections. The permissible uh, limits are these are. And uh, coming to minimum reinforcement, this minimum reinforcement is based on thickness of a member. If thickness is 100mm thickness, 0.3 of a cross section member. And if uh, thickness is varies from 100 mm to 40, 450 mm, we will use reinforcement of 0.2% of cross section area. If thickness of if thickness is greater than 450 mm, 0.2% of cross section area we will use. These are the waterproofing materials. Uh, the main object of using materials is to fill the pores of concrete and to obtain a dense and less permeable concrete so that we we will avoid cracks and leak proof. Commonly used water uh, is hydrated lime or slake lime. And design of water tank, these are the parameters we will deal with. And design data. Our tank is capacity of 1.5 lakh kiloliters. Staging part 12 meters. Seismic zone 3. Seismic zone 3. And these are the hydraulic features. Our tank overall depth is 3.45 meters. FA2 water depth is 3 meters. Freeboard is 0.3 meters. Dead storage is 0.15 meters. And these are the member sizes. And these are the various types of loads. There are various loads which are acting on the structure uh, like dead loads, imposed loads, wind loads and earthquake loads. Coming to dead loads, dead loads is the self weight of the container, columns, braces, railing and MS ladder. Railing is uh, built for the support and MS ladder for the carrying of the persons to the top of the tank. Coming to imposed loads, imposed loads are the men which come onto the for tank for the cleaning purpose and it is estimated as 0.2 kN kilo kilo per meter. Wind loads. Wind is air in motion. Wind load is prevalent in the columns and neglected in the container. The wind load is designed according to the IS875 part 3. Coming to the loads. This is the load. Dead load of the slab is 300 kg per meter square. And the various loads you can see in the slide. Earthquake loads. Uh, we are designing the tank in the seismic zone 3. Hence the design of earthquake loads is necessary and is very important. Uh, it is governed by uh, as per the code IS1893. Soil parameters. The bearing capacity of soil is 0.6 kN per meter square, which is found to be very less, hence we use raft foundation. The depth of the foundation used is 3 meters and the depth of the groundwater table is 7 meters. Design of roof slab. The basic design criteria is uh, the concept uses a concept of thin cylinders and the total load on the roof slab is 500 kg per meter square and you can see the spacing of the diameter bars. Wind analysis. The wind analysis is carried out by various factors such as topographical factor, terrain factor, probability factor, etc. And the design wind pressure is 150 kg per meter square. And the probability and topographical factors are 1.06 and 1. Earthquake analysis. There are various loads of uh, various loads acting on the tank. During the case of the earthquakes are considered for the design of the tank. When the tank is empty, it is a 154 tons and the various loads you can see in the slide. There are various softwares for design of water tank excluding Strat Pro and TSLO Express is the second after Strat Pro. There are the various codes which are used for the design of the structure are listed here. You can have a glance about them. 
analysis of stat pro is done in uh, analysis is done using stat pro developed by bentley references these are the references we use while uh, designing the water tank first one is uh, irrigation and water power engineering by punmia and lal irrigation and water management management by dk majunder irrigation and water resources and water power engineering by dr p n modi uh sample stat files will be shown here that this is the stat file which is used for checking the deflections but considering the general these are the various cross sections used this is the roof slab these are the columns braces and the footings are taken as fixed there is a unit load which is applied on the tank at the center of gravity of the tank which is at 1.84 meters from the left hand the unit load along the y direction is applied for the calculation of the stiffnesses if we calculate the stiffness we can find out the deflection and the deflections are checked now we will see the final stat design this is the final stat design which has been executed this is the reservoir part and this is the staging part with load combinations there are various load combinations which has been given assigned there are 29 load combinations and all the load combinations have been checked whether they are safe or not and after the analysis we have found that all the load combinations have been safe and the structure is safe and it can be built on the ground